Morning everyone, Mike from CCTV Camera Pros here. Today I'm gonna to give you an overview of the remote web browser access for Vuetron security camera systems. Uh, I'm gonna be using the Chrome web browser on my MacBook and the access works the same for our Vuetron BNC security camera DVRs as well as the network IP camera NVRs. Here's the Chrome web browser on my Mac laptop and I entered in the IP address of the NVR and then I'm gonna enter in the user ID and password and click log in. Initially when you log in, you're brought to the single camera live view and our camera number one happens to be of our front door. If you wanna switch the, the, from camera to camera, you could just click on the camera list over here on the left. This camera happens to be a, a PTZ camera, so I'm gonna use the pan tilt zoom controls over here uh, to zoom in down the street. And I measured that actually when I zoom all the way in here, this this right turn sign over here, that that sign is 560 feet away from where this PTZ camera is mounted. So just a side note, our, our 25 time zoom uh, auto tracking PTZ is pretty awesome. Uh, so I'm just gonna zoom back out and, and pan over a little bit before I move on to the other cameras. This is one of our AI bullet cameras and this side pane over here where we're doing the pan tilt zoom controls is now set to target detection. That'll show when uh, a human was detected in the intrusion zone that we have uh, set up out front there. And when you pull up these events from that target detection zone, you could easily jump to the video playback of that event as you can see here. And when I'm done, I'll just go back to the live display and go through the rest of the cameras. And you can also uh, view these in full screen mode. So I'm going to go back to the pencil zoom camera and switch to full screen. So you can get rid of all of the menus and everything and just have the video go full screen by clicking on that icon down there. Next, I'm going to show you the four camera view. So if you want to switch out one of these cameras, because it's limited to the, the, the Chrome web browser view is limited to four cameras, as is Firefox and Safari. So if you want to switch one of the cameras, click on the camera view that you want to switch out, then click on the name of the camera that you want in that position from the menu on the left. Click on this icon to switch to the full screen video view. You could double click on any of these uh, cameras while in the, four, while in the four screen view to switch to the single camera mode and then double click again to go back out to the four camera grid view. And to get out of the full screen mode, I just pressed the escape key. And then next I'll show you that here's where you could do uh, video playback. This is one of the ways you could do video playback. Uh, you select the cameras that you want to search using this timeline scrubber. When you click that search button, there's the timeline right there. And you can, you can select any time on it and the video playback will jump to that time and start the playback. And just like the live view, you could double click on any of the cameras in the four camera view to switch to the single camera view. So next, I'm gonna show you another way to play back a recorded video. This is using the intelligent analytics, which is just for the AI camera. So just for our IP-based artificial intelligence cameras. Uh, here, I'm just gonna search for any camera that had an intrusion alert today uh, from basically the human detection entering in a zone that we have uh, labeled as an intrusion zone and you can click on any of those thumbnails and then click the playback button if you wanna to jump to the recording of that event. And when you're done, you can just close that out and then exit. So one more thing while we're in here, uh, one of the cameras we have in the back is a license plate recognition camera. So I'm gonna search for all of the license plate recognition events that occurred today, just, just on that LPR camera specifically. None of the other cameras can do LPR. Uh, so here's all the plates that were detected today. And again, I can, I can click on these uh, three dots to pull up that event. You could see the license plate was was properly detected, and then you can click the playback button to see the actual video as being done here. And when I'm done, I can close that and exit out. And then last, here's all the settings. This functional panel is all of the DVR's configuration settings. And one of the nice things about the web browser access is 
all of the settings on the DVR are available. So if you need to change some type of, type of configuration remotely, or if you're an installer and you help clients manage their systems, this is really handy to remotely manage uh, your customer's DVRs for them if they need help with setup. Well, we, we do it with our tech support on behalf of customers all the time. And then when I'm done here, I'll just switch back to the live uh, display mode. I hope this overview has been helpful. Again, that was the remote web browser access for Vuitron video surveillance systems. And specifically, I was accessing a Vuitron IP camera NVR that we have installed here at the office. Uh, now that was through the Chrome web browser, but I wanna mention that it works the same in Firefox and Safari. It's slightly different in Internet Explorer. You can have more than four cameras on a screen in Internet Explorer. Uh, if you, if you have any questions about any of this, feel free to reach out to me anytime in regards to this video or any questions you have uh, in regards to video surveillance equipment. I can be reached at mike at cctvcamerapros.net. If you wanna learn more about these Vuitron surveillance systems, please visit www.cctvcamerapros.com slash Vuitron. Thank you for watching.